Hey everyone, it's Jim from Evolve Lab. In today's video, I want to show you the Evolve Lab Revit Code Tools, which is something we've developed to help you execute building code analysis on your projects. Let's take a look. Evolve Lab Code Tools was created to assist in the calculation and documentation of building code analysis. It supports 2012, 2015, and 2018 International Building Code. Included in this package are complex customized schedules and tags, custom filters, view templates, fill patterns, color fill schemes, line styles, parameters, as well as some customized out-of-the-box features such as the Path of Travel tool. One of the primary features are the code review schedules and tags, which will populate automatically when you define some important information about your rooms or areas using the built-in custom parameters. Since these schedules and tags are set up using complex formulas, we have developed numerical keys which represent the occupancy classification and function of space. These keys are defined in these schedules for the user to reference. Once you begin entering this information, the schedule will auto-generate your values based on the IBC year you have selected. If there is information missing or an error, such as the function of space is not supported in the year selected, the schedule will tell you there is an issue by displaying colors. These colors can be referenced in our documentation, which will explain what the problem is. The last piece of information you'll need to enter is if the room is part of an egress path. And if so, how many additional occupants will need to be accounted for? Now I will walk through this process in a project example and show some of the other features which are included in this package. As I start to place rooms in my model, Code Tools wants me to populate these built in room parameters occupancy use, space function, code year, and whether or not it is part of a path of travel. I can of course fill these out in properties or enter them directly into the schedule. So the first thing I'm going to enter is the code year we'll be using on this project. Then I will use our occupancy classification keys to enter the classification of each room. You can see as I do that, the occupancy group information is automatically generated. Next I will use our function of space key to enter that information. And again, our schedule is populated for us. For this room, I'm seeing orange cells, which means for this combination of entries, I will need to manually enter some information into the schedule. And finally, I can select whether or not this room is on a path of travel and how many additional occupants must be accounted for. The schedule will then tell us the cumulative number of occupants if that box is checked. Having filled out all of that information, I can now take a look at the code review summary schedule, which has all of the keys and calculation fields hidden and can be placed on a sheet. Now I can begin tagging my rooms using our custom room tags, which are also filled with formulas which will display the occupancy information of each room. We have three different types of tags, cumulative, non-cumulative, and QAQC, which will allow you to review all of the information about the room you've tagged. Next I'll place our color fill legend, which is also included, this can be customized, but is currently set to display the function of space. Creating a new sheet, I can place my plan and schedule on a code analysis drawing. Now I'd like to show the paths of travel for this building. Utilizing the powerful out-of-the-box path of travel tool, I select two points on the plan, and Revit will find the shortest distance between them, giving us important egress information. I can then change these now to our custom line styles, which will make them stand out on the plan. I can tag them, show the travel distance, and add a prefix using the mark parameter, which our custom tag will display. If needed, I can also add points along the path if we need to avoid any obstacles along the way. Turning on our Code Tools view template, which utilizes custom view filters, you can see that the walls are now displaying their fire rating, which is built into the wall type. I can begin tagging my walls with our custom wall tag. 
and you can see how quickly I have a code review drawing of my project. In this example, I use rooms, but all of this is available using areas as well. Hey, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you'd like more information about code tools, feel free to reach out to us anytime or check out our website, evolvelab.io. There's a link in the description. We'll see you in the next video.